sorry, I'll continue on. Uh, my name is Ho Sung Shim, and I'll be your presenter for data augmentation for smishing detection, um, theory-based prompt engineering approach. And it's our paper was all about the expression of interest. So this presentation will proceed in the following order, starting from the overview, then moving on to the proposed method, and we'll briefly uh, explain about the experiment and results as well. So I think most of you guys are unfamiliar with the concept of smishing. So smishing is a portmanteau of SMS and phishing, and it's one of the dominant approaches of social engineering of text, uh, manipulating the mobile text messages to deceive individuals and to illegally obtain information. And in general, uh, it comprises the texts, URLs, uh, self-answering links, contact information. And it aims to acquire user credentials and deploy malicious software on mobile devices and to carry out other harmful actions. So then why uh, smishing matters? So smishing messages are transmitted through mobile devices and it heightens the vulnerability of targets due to factors such as small screens, limited user awareness, and frequent credential input, and also render victims less vigilant through more personalized messages delivered via low-cost SMS, enabling mass distribution. And dangers and repercussions of smishing can be severe, um, resulting in a financial loss, reputational damage, loss of intellectual property, and disruption of operations and more. Therefore, it is crucial to provide potential victims with preventive mechanisms that can enhance their resilience to smishing. So there are a couple of issues regarding the smishing detection. So machine learning with label smishing data has emerged as a promising mechanism for preventing the potential harm that can be caused by smishing. Um, this approach involves computationally identifying the semantic and synthetic characteristics of smishing, enabling the differentiation between messages with malicious intent and those with benign intent. However, prior studies of smishing detection have been facing a significant challenge in the development of machine learning models due to the shortage of training data and their lack of publicly uh, available data as well. Um, prior studies in smishing detection have encountered another difficulty um, in distinguishing smishing messages from spam. So spam messages are another type of social engineering attacks that unlike smishing are merely irritating and do not inherently contain malicious intent. So they exhibit similar linguistic structures, which makes exceedingly challenging to distinguish the two types of social engineering attacks with limited data. So in this regard, uh, we propose a novel data augmentation approach to tackle the issue of limited data in smishing detection. And we leverage uh, large language models and the prompt learning approach for data generation. And more specifically, we employed prompt designs based on psychological theories. Here we are going to use the principles of persuasion from the work of Ferreira and Telles 2019, uh, which explained the mechanism behind smishing. So this is a, a methodological framework for our um, paper. I'm going to explain in detail in the following slides. So uh, we employed a prompt-based approach, of course, utilizing an LLM for data augmentation, which has the following input and output structure. So subscript of P-Roll denotes a prompt that assigns a role to an LLM as either smishing generator or spam generator. And persuasion type refers to a prompt that explains a specific persuasion type to be employed by an LLM for generating new samples. And demo is a prompt that provides an LLM with an example of smishing or spam messages. And finally, in the output part, um, subscript of SM is a newly generated sample. And for each iteration, uh, the number of demonstrations shown to an LLM and that of new samples were generated. And this approach achieves a higher level of diversity in the augmented data and capturing variations in spacing, uh, word order, and subtle cementing nuisance with the content. Um, 
A key to generating proper new samples in our proposed approach is the persuasion type. Uh, we employ the principles of persuasion as a kernel theory. Um, in general, uh, social engineering attacks, such as smishing, capitalize on social psychological triggers to promote the process of persuasion. Specifically, uh, Freyra and Telus in their work of 2019 have suggested the following uh, five components that influence the effectiveness of persuasion in real world context. So I'll move on to the experiment part. So we utilize the uh, SMS phishing data set. Uh, it's a benchmark data set by the Mishra and Sony in 2022. So this uh, benchmark data set comprises three types of SMS classifications, uh, which are smishing, spam, and hem. Among the three classes, our, our interest exclusively lies in smishing and spam messages. Uh, since the task of distinguishing between the non-HEM non messages from HEM messages is much simpler, therefore we have neglect, neglected the HEM messages. So we have a total of 1,127 messages um, comprising 489 spam and 638 smishing messages. For the annotation of our data, we recruited uh, five annotators in the relevant fields of psychology and uh, information system. Their task was to identify the most relevant um, persuasion principle to give a smishing message. And we ensured annotators thoroughly understood the connection between smishing messages and the principles of persuasion by providing them with multiple examples. Um, therefore, the annotation outcome revealed a moderate level of agreement among annotators with a flace kappa coefficient of four, 0 0.456. Um, for the experiment, uh, we have utilized the OpenAI's GPT 3.5 Turbo API and set a temperature of 0 0.85, which determines the degree of randomness of text generation to ensure the diverse outcomes. Um, so I'm going to briefly explain about the results as well. So by following the proposed method, uh, we have created uh, four data sets in a two-fold and a five-fold manner. And our approach was compared against two baselines, um, the original data set by Mishra and Sony, and a data set augmented without uh, theoretical components. And we employed multiple uh, machine learning models to conduct a binary classification of distinguishing smishing from spam. Uh, as you can see on the right side, uh, overall our augmentation method is significant improvement in performance uh, compared to the original data set. Um, specifically, uh, the best performing model in F1 measure score was the uh, Roborta base trained on the data set augmented a fivefold with a theory. Um, it improved the best performing model uh, trained on the original data set by 4.9%, uh, as you can see in the Roberta large uh, model. So by incorporating the multiple theoretical components uh, utilized in the creation of real world smishing messages into our prompts, we believe that our newly generated samples will provide a comprehensive representation of smishing messages. So. Um, well, thank you for listening in again. Thank you for having me to present my work at this workshop.